have over 25,000 Instagram followers. 25,000 Instagram followers, not really a lot, especially when you compare it to the big Instagram accounts. But here's the cool thing, I almost never post on Instagram. In case you don't know me, my name is Maria Wendt. I'm currently vacationing in beautiful Hawaii, and on this channel, I show you how to get more clients. So recently on this channel, I made a YouTube video sharing you know, how I make over $20,000 per month just with my Instagram account, even though I don't have a ton of followers, and I almost never post. I'm an introvert, I find social media to be very draining, and so for me, posting once a month, that's what works for me. But I still make a ton of money. So how do I do it? How do I make a ton of money on an account that really doesn't have a ton of followers. If you consider the fact that I have over 100,000 on my email list, 100,000 in Facebook group, 25,000 really for not doing much of anything, isn't that many followers. Here's the number one thing most people don't tell you, most influencers do not open up about this, they don't tell you this, this is sort of a like, don't talk about this thing. You can have one or the other. You can't have both. You can focus on monetizing or you can focus on growing your audience but you can't do both. So I can't tell you how many famous influencers that you would know come to me with huge audiences, you know, 200,000 followers, 500,000 followers, a million followers, and they're broke. They're making less than $10,000 a month, which again, like $10,000 a month is a great income, but they're not monetizing their audience. They could be making 100 times that. Really, they should be making 100 times that with the audience they do. So they're really good at growing their audience. They're not really good at monetizing their audience. On the flip side, my students have 200 followers and are making bank. So you can't have both. You can either focus on growing a really large audience or you can focus on monetizing your current audience. And basically, it looks like this. I'm gonna just draw this so you can get a visual. I'm a visual teacher, I'm also a visual learner. This is you. And right now, you think you're supposed to be doing growing, so getting a lot of different followers, and you're trying to make money. You're trying to do a bunch of different things at once here. Not only that, you're over here, trying to grow, let's just say your Instagram, your TikTok, your YouTube maybe, maybe you got a podcast. So you're trying to get followers on all these different platforms. Not only that, but the way in which you're getting clients is also kind of split. Maybe you're trying to get you know some clients on Facebook, maybe you tried webinars, maybe you tried some sales calls, uh, maybe you did a little bit of ads, just as an example. So you are one person and you are currently spreading yourself, just for example, eight times too thin. Instead, what I'm telling you to do is this. This is you, make a decision. Do you want a lot of followers or do you want to make money? Again, each person, each entrepreneur needs to decide which is a better choice for them. There's no wrong answer here. You need to decide what is the right choice for me. So let's just say you decided that you're gonna make money. Already a lot simpler. Now if you're a student and might get clients in a program, I'm also gonna tell you, pick one way to get clients. Don't try to get clients in four different ways. So let's just say, you say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna get clients with Facebook groups. It could literally be anything. You could put TikTok here, you could put Instagram, you could put anything here. But just for the sake of example, I want you to see what happens. Now, 100% of your effort is following this. How much faster do you think you're going to achieve your goals when you've cut all of this, which is literally what you're currently doing right now, so no wonder you're struggling to get traction. We cut all of this, and I'm saying, hey, simplify your life here. Decide, do you wanna get followers or do you wanna make money? Because they're two different things requiring two different strategies and two different game plans. And then, when you decide one way or the other, choose, how are you going to do that? What's the one way you're gonna focus on? So that you're not trying to get clients with Facebook groups and webinars and sales calls and ads and everything else you're doing, or you're not trying to grow on YouTube or TikTok or get a podcast going all at the same time, it's exhausting. If you, let's just say you do decide to grow a following. You are saying, you know what, I'm gonna go all in, I'm gonna get a bunch of followers. And you wanna be the exception to the rule, right? We talked about how those people are the exceptions to the rules. My friend who makes 90,000 90, Instagram followers and makes $450,000 a month, she still follows the same rule that we talked about, the rule of focus. So she is all in on Instagram. She's not trying to grow her podcast. She's not trying to grow her Facebook. She's not trying to collect emails. She's gone all in and all of her revenue comes from Instagram. If you decide that yes, you know what, I am going to delay monetization because I want to focus on getting followers because I think that's the next step for me, you need to go all in and grow one platform. That means you need to stop trying to do your podcast, that means you need to stop trying to grow your Facebook group, that means you need to stop trying to grow your Instagram, whatever it is, you need to pick one platform 
and go all in on it. So I have a Facebook group with over 120,000 ideal clients in it. I have an email list with over 100,000 email addresses on it. And this YouTube channel that I'm trying to grow has 5,000 subscribers on it right now. The reason why I see success platform to platform to platform is because I focus on one platform at a time. I'm not worrying about growing on Instagram right now, so there's nothing really going on in my Instagram. I'm not worried about growing on TikTok now, so there's like two videos from forever ago and I was just curious to know what it was about. I grow one platform at a time and I, then I use that platform to leverage the next. So we've only been doing YouTube for like a month. I can guarantee you that within a year or two, we're gonna be at 100,000 YouTube subscribers, which is incredible. It's an incredible accomplishment, which we're going to achieve because we focus. Whether you say, okay, you know what? I, I now know, thanks to this video that I watched, I now know I can't have both. I can't monetize my audience super well and try to grow my audience super well at the same time. It just usually doesn't work. So I decided that I'm gonna go all in on growing my followers Awesome. That's awesome. That's already a big decision that you've made. You've already cut, if you remember back to that thing we drew on the iPad, you've already cut a lot of clutter from your mind. Your next step then is to go even further and say, okay, you know what? I'm going to go all in on this one platform. I'm going to go all in on Instagram or all in on TikTok or all in on my Facebook group. I see it happen even with people who are making seven figures, right? In the mastermind groups I'm in, I'm in groups of seven, eight, and nine figure entrepreneurs and I still see them making this mistake. They have really tiny audiences because they focus on monetizing, by the way. They focus on monet, they said, you know what, I don't care about the vanity metrics, I'm gonna focus on making money, which is why they're making seven, eight, and nine figures. And now they're kind of like, okay, huh, maybe I would like to get a bigger following, but they're trying to get their podcast going and they're trying to get their Facebook groups running and they're trying to, you know, get their Instagram accounts going. And I was just talking to one of my friends and I was basically explaining that's the mistake most people make is they try to grow five platforms at once they spread themselves way too thin and they don't see results. Hopefully this gave you food for thought. In the comments down below, I want you to tell me, are you deciding to focus on monetizing the audience you currently have, so you're focusing on making money, or are you focusing on growing your existing audience? Let me know down in the comments below which path you've decided to go and maybe I can offer you some tips specifically on that. If you like this video, hit the like button and if you want to learn more and if you're officially ready to start your journey towards making money and getting clients, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me.